I like how I'm your guinea pig for things like this. <laughs> oh, we're live. I know, right? Here we are. We're live. You are the guinea pig. <laughs> okay. It says we're live. So it that's good. We're live. Yeah. Yes, excellent. So, hey, everybody. This is Elise and Laura. And <laughs> we, are, um, we, we are just practicing live streaming onto Facebook because we were just um, supremely challenged with the previous zoom that we did where we were going live on my facebook and what happened was our um participant guests or hosts could their cameras wouldn't work so here we are we're working and we're just showing you how you gotta stick with it so uh we are going to give everyone an assignment um i figured well if we're gonna do a test run then we're gonna also give you all a challenge so this is your weekend challenge are you guys ready Hopefully by now, since you've heard us pound this message home, we've done four videos. This is the fifth video in 24 hours. And the message is you've got to name it and claim it. You've got to write it down. You've got to visualize the goal. And now you got to take the action. So we've been talking to you all about the five, four, three, two, one. And I challenged you today to start thinking about that as your off day so like when you're taking your day off which you probably won't do too often but sometimes you might during this run towards this bonus um and that's the day where you do five four three two one as a baseline okay all the other days you're gonna 10 exit um and you're going to put in even more effort because you've got to put in massive effort and momentum up front in order to get the results that you desire. So Laura, what do you think um, with the five, four, three, two, one, where, what do people usually find most challenging or what have you found most challenging, I should say? I think the most challenging thing is always um, reaching out to new people that you haven't had the conversation with yet. Hmm. You know, so, so whatever, whatever that one is, I don't know what number is that in the five, four, three, two, one, right. but the, the <laughs> prospecting, right? So I feel like Following up is pretty easy because those people have already expressed interest, right? So your following up is, it's not uncomfortable because you're, you would be, I consider it like, I'm not a very good friend if I don't keep following up because they said they wanted something. So I'm just being a good friend to try and get them what they want. And especially if there's like a promo or a sale, I'm doing them a favor. So for me, follow up is my favorite thing to do because I honestly feel like I'm doing someone a favor. I never feel like a burden for following up. Um, and social media, posting on social media, that's a comfortable thing because, you know, if somebody says something ugly, you can just delete it. Right. So that's super comfortable. The uncomfortable part is probably prospecting, like literally reaching out and asking if someone's open to hearing more. Um, because that response that you get back is the scary part, right? right. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I love about the five second rule, which talks about five, four, three, two, one, just in a different context is that once you master the brain hack and realize why it freaks you out, it's like not a big deal anymore <laughs> at all. Yeah. It's like, calm down brain. I'm not jumping off a cliff. I know this feels scary because we don't like rejection and our ego is very prideful, but chill out. I'm okay. This is not scary. I'm excited. And once you figure out how to flip that dude it actually becomes pretty fun but that's it's always going to be the hardest one because it's the most uncomfortable mm -hmm. absolutely so. and I love how our founder co-founder Paul he all he's mentored me now over five years and not on a personal level you know this company's massive but I listen to all of the calls that he does I have him set to see first on my Facebook so if he announces doing a call I can be on it moment's notice. I try my best. And one of the things he always says is turn it into a game, make it a game, you know, and there's a really great book also called go for no really. If you can tweak the way that you look at your approach and your invitation to look at what we offer, if you tweak the way you look at it and you turn it into, I am going to make these offers as in plant seeds eventually it comes to fruition and there's a harvest. And if you think about it, most plants, you plant the seed and it is weeks and weeks, sometimes months until that time comes. And some people might take years. Laura took two. 
<laughs> I took about two hours because that was what is known by Simon Sinek as an that is so doctor. representative of our personalities. <laughs> right. It takes two years to decide on something because I'm analyzing it. It takes right. her literally 2.5 seconds and she's off and running and doing it. Like right. I'll tell you, you which what one it also, I'll tell you which one will get you more success. I'll tell you what though. I really trust my intuition. Yeah. And my intuition felt like this is what I needed to do. So I <laughs> started my Thrive Experience and I made the decision I'm going to share it. I knew that I was going to become one of the top leaders in the company. I set the intention. I wrote it down and I named it and claimed it. Like that is one of my favorite phrases is name it and claim it. So yeah. your weekend goal this weekend is that you have, are going to make the decision. You are trusting your intuition. You will be prompted to reach out to people and then your brain will go, no, no, that one's scary. <laughs> we call that the shit list. <laughs> and no, okay, okay. That's the wrong word. It's chicken list. Chicken list. <laughs> Laura's like, what? They don't call your shit list until they tell you, no, you're dumb. That's a scam. Go away. Then they move your shit list. <laughs> and no one has ever, ever, ever told me to F off. Me either. Ever. <laughs> And I'm super persistent. Like, dude, I'm really persistent. And if people were going to say it, they would have said it to me. They just, right by now. So really, when you, when you take that approach of what am I really scared of and you make the decision, I'm going to go through every single contact that's in my phone. I'm going to go A to Z. I'm going to turn it into a game and see how many people I need to be reaching out to and starting a conversation with, reconnecting with. And how, and then how quickly can I convert that into them ordering, make it a game. It's not, it, don't turn it into something about whether they like you or not. Don't yeah. take it personally. That's the wrong approach. Instead, have fun and make it a game. And that's where you're going to see the success. And um, so that's your weekend challenge is to make that decision that you're going to turn this into a game. You're going to get organized. You're going to print out the tracker from the vault, wethrivevault.com. And you're going to print out the 54321. In fact, we can even post these links for you down in the comments of the video. And tag your teams. Make sure they're on here. If you're watching the replay, type replay. We need to know who's engaged. When you show up, you go up. So who's playing? Who's playing to win? Because you're leaders. We want to work with those of you who show up. So all of you that are on right now, I see Stephanie and Jamie and Maureen and Donna, um, Elise, Cindy, shout out to you all. <laughs> it is a Saturday night and you are learning. <laughs> That's incredible. And actually that, that has been my style for many, many, many years. Rob and I don't go out. We don't go party and we don't really even drink wine at home or beer really. And uh, because I always feel like it takes away from my ability to tap into my intuition. My intuition is my superpower because when I trust my intuition, I pick up the phone. When I trust my intuition and I'm prompted and I see that stranger when I'm at the grocery store, I talk to them. I compliment them. I look them in the eyes. I smile at them. And the conversations happen naturally as a result. So what do you have to add to that? I'll give you a good tip too. Like sometimes I feel like, um, so like when you work from home and most of your stuff, most of your business is online and typing, mm -hmm. the, the days can be pretty quiet, you know? And if people aren't, you know, cause in, in a workplace, right? If you're in an office or something, you've got kind of like that high vibe, you can feed off other people's energy and it's easier to kind of be more alive and more vibrant, right? If you're in an environment like that for, for a lot of people, for the personality. So take note of, you know, if your energy level is low and you're kind of feeling like in a funk, I don't know another way to describe it, but if you're kind yes. of feeling like in a funk, um, you're not going to feel like reaching out in a way that is super high vibe and attractive and confident. Um, and so one of the things that's really helped me, I had a really, really, really great personal month in December. And one of the things that had helped me so much, and I don't think it's by accident, um, mm -hmm. Elise had posted um, something, she posted a YouTube video and told us all to watch it by Abraham Hicks. Um, that was one, that was step one. Then she said, go get, um, think and grow rich, the network marketing edition. Y'all, that is a very different book. It's a very, it's, it's the same gist, but the one that is the network marketing edition, um, it, it's not think and grow rich for network marketers. 
that's another book. It's totally different. It's Think and Grow Rich, the Network Marketing Edition. Um, that I have had that in my ear, literally on Audible. Um, I've had that on my ear while I'm just doing other stuff, while I'm on the computer, right? So when it's quiet and um, and I've got that in my ear playing, I have had that nonstop. Like if I'm not on a call or I'm not speaking to someone, I've got it on repeat, like in my ear. And I don't think it's a coincidence that when I was reaching out to people, when I'm on video chats or when I'm on the phone with someone, like my energy is way higher, like a whole nother level. I am confident and it's coming through. It's coming through the calls. It's coming through the video chats. And, and even in my messages, like when I'm doing Facebook messages and I'm using the voice chat, I'm doing that on purpose because my energy is way higher than you can't use enough emojis. <laughs> Like, right. emojis do not convey your confidence and your enthusiasm and whatever. And so if you're feeling like I just can't get myself moving, like a thing in motion stays in motion, right? So you have to kind of get yourself going. I don't know if it's like listening to gangster rap music, if it's listening to heavy metal, if it's listening to an audiobook, whatever it is, it'll get you going, whether it's exercise, going outside, like have a little dance party in your living room. I don't, whatever. Um, you have to do that because people can feel your energy. If you are in a funk, you are not thriving. <laughs> I mean, right. So, and if you want to attract people to thrive with you, like, hello, you need to kick it up a notch. Um, yeah. so that was literally my, if, if someone were to ask me, like, how did you add 15 new people in December? I'm telling you, that's the only thing I've done different. It, that was the only thing I did different is that I got myself out of my funk into a high vibe blinders on. Um, and I just literally started prospecting with the intention of, I just want to knock on the door and see if they're open. I just want to knock on the door and see if they're open. I don't care if they're not open. I'm moving on to the next person. Yeah. Um, that's all I did differently. And it really, really worked. Um, I mean, I probably reached out to a good hundred and something people in December. I got 15 of them that were like a lease that took 2.5 seconds to say yes, but I've got a ton of people who I need to follow up with right? There's like another 90 something to follow up with. And who knows what if someone takes two years and decides to run with it? I don't, that's fine. I'll be here. Yeah, <laughs> so, totally. Just start planting those seeds. <laughs> eventually they'll come to harvest. You just have to get yourself out of your funk. Yeah, absolutely. And changing your vibration. Um, the best advice I have for that too, is prioritize going to bed earlier, a little bit earlier. Um, some play time, like go outside and play, do something fun, play with your pets, go on a walk, play with your kids. Um, dance party always works. Change your physical state, like movement works. Yeah. So hashtag daily dance party. If you want to do that, daily dance can do that as a team, that would be fun. Uh, right on our Instagram <laughs> stories or something. Um, but that is, I, I think a really great way to change your vibration and just be like, okay, I'm going to up level my energy here so that when I'm reaching out, I feel good. I'm holding the space for that person to say, yes, they're attracted to my energy. Like even through a message, I don't know how it is, but people can pick up on your energy. And if you're totally. feeling scarcity minded, they run for the hills. You're yeah. fired up, right? You guys say it in the comments. They're fired up and you're going to see them saying yes, right and left, right and left, right and left. Like you've got the Midas touch. Cause you they can totally feel it. If you're like, would you mind if I added you to this group? I mean, do you think that would be okay? And right. would you like to try it? Like, dude, no, trust me. You gotta get on this stuff. <laughs> People can totally tell the difference. Oh my gosh. It's so true. Oh, Laura, <laughs> our practice run and we forgot to record it. This would have been the <laughs> I can download it from my Facebook. Okay. Yes. We got to get it on the, my, I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel, you guys. So if you ever have time and you're looking for a little uplifting, go to elisetv.com and you will see my YouTube channel is sorted by playlist and you can get motivated. <laughs> I want pink extensions like you have. I don't think you are. They're looking nice. Yeah, I really need to get them in my life. I need unicorn ones to fit my brand. Yeah. Well, and I actually, I got pink and purple, but I only had uh, my stylist, Josh, put in the purple. I mean, the pink, sorry. I don't, I, he still has the purple. I don't know. We, we were going to take a few days to decide. <laughs> Do it. Stop deciding. Stop deciding. <laughs> <laughs> our, our appointment was, it had ended, so I had to I had to come back anyway. So I'm going back Wednesday for um, him to do the blowout before I go to Charlotte. 
That's so fun. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. So um, I'm glad you guys were able to hop on our test run. We finally got the video working. Hopefully um, we provided a little bit of value during our just silliness of testing. I, this thing. I know. I said to her, well, we're going to practice and we thrive. And then I said, oh my gosh, we should give them a challenge and do a little bit of testing so that it's not just like a you know, little It's going to turn into a full-blown training when we get on here. <laughs> I know we've already been on for quite some while. I don't oh, even know how long. Um, anyway, my son keeps coming to the door because he's like, Mom, let's watch our movie. So I'm going to go and watch a movie with him. We're watching some Indiana Jones. And I'm going to be making sure that I take my rest tonight. And I'll probably take a detox bath because detox baths help you to flush out any stress hormones, which are a good thing. But, you know, those hormones can affect your sleep, too. So you take rest the detox bath. For the next few months, you need yes. to step up on rest. <laughs> I know, right? I know. And you guys are wondering, what's the detox bath? It's two to three cups of Epsom salt. And the Epsom salt is high in magnesium. So your body absorbs the magnesium. And then that it helps your body flush out adrenaline and cortisol. And when we are go, 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 like we've been for the last 24 hours, you know your body's been flooded with those hormones. So side note, you want to also um, help release those hormones so that your um, serotonin or melatonin can come up for you to sleep well and then you can have the serotonin production in the morning which is your happiness hormone and oxytocin from being with family so there you go a little bit of hormone education for you all <laughs> all right you guys i love you and laura thanks for doing this test run with me i think it was yeah, so my great. pleasure you're getting you guys tangy. enjoyed it drop a comment <laughs> below and let us know or maybe tag your teams if it was valuable all right thanks again bye, bye. <laughs> Yay, it worked. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> <laughs>